Suspect is under arrest tonight in the stabbing death of a 28-year-old man at a gay bar in Long Beach over the weekend. A second stabbing victim survived and is speaking out tonight about what led to the tragedy. John Finolio live in Long Beach with the latest details. John. Sure, Micah, this is such a heartbreaking story. We did speak with one of those victims who is recovering tonight. He tells us his partner of six and a half years was stabbed in the chest and later died in his arms. It was supposed to be a night to remember that ended in tragedy. Anyone who knew Chris knows that he's just the light in every room. Jake Stone is referring to his partner, Christopher Finley, who was killed outside this popular Long Beach gay bar Friday night. Police say the incident began just before midnight at the mine shaft located on the 1700 block of East Broadway. Stone and Finley were enjoying a nightcap. Another man inside the bar was reportedly asked to leave because he was drunk. The man eventually left, but returned a short time later, police say, and began threatening patrons with a taser. According to investigators, Stone and Finley tried to de-escalate the situation out on the sidewalk. That's when a fourth man who was riding a bicycle stopped and got involved. For reasons still unknown, the bicyclist pulled a knife and stabbed the couple, the blade piercing Finley's chest. But ultimately he did die basically in my arm in front of the bar. And then he was taken away and revived on the ambulance and made it through surgery, but didn't make it long after that. On Sunday, police located and arrested 56-year-old Michael Smalls of Long Beach on suspicion of murder and attempted murder. Stone says the pain of losing his best friend is almost too hard to bear. And he was so loving and just, he was so talented. He's my other half. I just don't know how I'm going to live without him. I'm just going to miss waking up every morning next to him and just him calling me his bub. Investigators say there is no evidence to suggest that this was a hate crime. Now, a GoFundMe has been set up for Finley. If you'd like to donate, you can find a link on our website, ktla.com.